I'm Joey D with UTVUnderground.com. We're here in Winchester Bay, Oregon, and we're here to break down our 2013 Polaris Razor Jagged X, known as the Black Mamba. We picked up our Jagged X model this year at Camp Razor out in Glamis. We had a blast with it in stock form, but we knew right away we couldn't wait to trick this thing out. The idea with this car was to do more of a dual sport machine, something that could be used in the dunes, but also was completely functional should we want to do some long range desert riding. The first thing that separates a car from being a dune machine and a desert machine are the wheels and tires. Out here in the dunes, we're running a set of 12 inch hyper bead locks with sand tire unlimited blaster paddles. So we dropped this machine off in Riverside at SDR Motorsports. They went to work right away on the cage and chassis. We wanted to retain all the features of the Jagged X machine, which is a four seat chassis, two seats in the front, storage containers in the back. The powder coat on this car is an anodized flat blue, which looks purple in some light, but it really looks cool as we're going into different lighting and different areas of the desert. It gives a different look every time you see it. The boys at Rigid Industries hooked us up big with the lighting on this car. The guys at SDR put our 30 inch single row light bar inside of this really cool light scoop. We got two dualies up on the A pillars here on Axia Alloys mounts. On the bumper in front, we've got a 10 inch single row mini that's used for that low line light when we get into a lot of dust situations. The boys over at Safe Glow Whips set us up with two four foot LED blue whips that work really great. The suspension on this machine is all stock. What we did do, however, is take the Walker Evan shocks apart and have the coils powder coated to match the rest of the cage. We added factory UTV skid armor on the rear trailing arms. The Jagged X motor is a 900 HO engine. We see no benefit in touching it right now. We love the ability to turn the key. We know it's going to fire every time and this thing has gobs of power. Moving into the interior, we hooked up with our friends over at Pro Armor. They did a badass set of custom seats for us. These things are comfortable and they look good to boot. Pro four point harnesses keep us hugged into the seats as we start bombing through whoops and hitting the jumps. The dash on this vehicle is my favorite part. We got nine custom switches made from UTV Inc. They engraved the UTV Underground logo in them. They're lit blue to match all the other accessory lighting we have. These things are badass and really set the dash off. The dash itself is a custom fiberglass piece made by Wally Wallace of Wally World Designs. It houses our 5 inch Lorentz HDS5 GPS, also has the location for the factory gauge, and then houses all of our switches in line looking super trick. The boys at Dragonfire sent us out their new motocross style grab handle. It's got a great pad on the front and uses actual motocross grips so their passengers always hanging on tight. Dragonfire Racing also hooked us up with the badass suede steering wheel. It's got the best diameter of any wheel that I've ever had. It's not too deep, so it sits on the car real nice. And it's got a quick release mechanism so I can take that steering wheel off for safety and make sure no one steals my ride. Building cars for us is always about the little details as well as function. I don't like to put anything on a car that doesn't have a purpose. We got these really cool carbon fiber Yoshimura side view mirrors that work well, but also look great and they also keep the weight down. We did add a little more bling to this car than we usually do and it started with that five speaker kicker system built by SSV Works. It's got a 10 inch sub mounted cleanly under the dash as well as four six inch kickers. Our rugged intercom allows us to listen to music pump right through the auxiliary into our helmets. We got about 45 grand wrapped up into this machine and although it's not cheap, we've got everything we need. This car can go for years and still look good as well as have all the function you'd ever want out of a UTV. So that's it for the breakdown on our 2013 Black Mamba Razor build. Now we're gonna jump in the driver's seat and go put some miles on this bad boy and see what she can do in the dunes. <laughs>